The United States consists primarily of white culture because white people are in the majority, and since we savagely attacked and depleted the Native American population, we have been a country that primarily consists of white culture. You may not like the fact that I'm using the phrase white culture, but if you can find a phrase that does a better job, then please let me know what it is. We say we are open to other cultures, and yes, especially as time has went on, we have let other cultures do their thing as long as they follow our laws. But we have always put up a lot of resistance to the idea of fully normalizing other cultures. Many people might hear this and think, well, what is so different about other cultures living here in the United States? We're all just people living in the same country, right? And that's where you'd be wrong. Sure, we all live under the same laws. Sure, we all have some very basic common interests. Sure, sometimes we can agree on a number of issues, and that is indeed because we are humans. But there are other things between cultures that make a huge difference in the way we look at life and other people, our priorities, and some of our values. And cultures aren't something we have to be born into. We can join a culture. We can try to be a part of any culture we want. We can create our own culture if we wish. But overall, almost, I repeat, almost everything out there, our laws, our entertainment, our assumptions revolve around white culture, split between a somewhat larger percentage of white male culture and a slightly smaller percentage of white female culture. There are some things that white nationalists talk about that are true, and I didn't want to admit it until more recently. It was one of those things that I would try to deny or cover up out of how I felt emotionally about it. But yes, the United States was originally founded to be a white country. By the later 1800s and early 1900s, attitudes about this had changed a significant amount, and since then it has been a steady progression of switching to a belief that we should be multicultural. Even I, as recently as last year, was resistant to the idea of full-on multiculturalism. It's scary because it means there would no longer be a dominant culture. And because of decades of resistance to the normalization of other cultures, those minority cultures have gotten very restless and frustrated. They're like, look, let us have our identity. You've had your identity since you started this country. Just let us have our identity and stop complaining every time something gets released that's geared towards us. And really, look at how some people react to stories that get readapted to other cultures. I say some people. Okay, sure, a lot of people have no problem with it, but there's a significant percentage of people who get really pissy about it. Look how people react when a movie comes out that has simply put someone of a different race into a role that was typically another race. Look at how people react when women replace men's roles in movies. Women have a different culture than men. Black people typically, I repeat, typically, have a different culture than white people. Gay people have a different culture than straight people both being mostly white culture no matter what. Gay men got their cues from straight white female culture, and lesbians got their cues from straight white male culture. Bisexuals have a difficult time creating their own culture, so they get caught between straight and gay culture. We all have these worldviews, all these ways of life, all these different sets of priorities, all these different approaches to problems, and yet probably around 90% of things are geared towards white culture. Well, what happens when white people are no longer in the majority? Well, there's going to be a wake-up call. Many people are not actually prepared for it, regardless of whether they claim to be or not. And so right now, we have a fear of any culture that does not align very well with white culture, because we already know in the back of our minds that white culture is eventually not going to be in the majority. Sometimes out of those fears, we end up shoving forth some terrible things. Sometimes we end up demonizing cultures that don't really have much of a chance of ever becoming big in the first place. And so after people in cultures other than straight white male culture become frustrated and angry after decades of very little change in representation, they've instinctively turned to revenge. This is instinctual. And it is also instinctual for those in the majority to respond to this revenge with revenge of their own. Unfortunately, when the majority culture wants revenge on the minority cultures, it's going to be one of the ugliest things we have ever seen in this country. The truth is, the more we embrace multiculturalism, the less we will see that sense of revenge coming from minorities. If we are not smart about this and we just go into our own sense of revenge against the minorities, we will not survive this. It's exactly as Barbara Lerner Spector has said, and as it does seem to apply to Europe, although I can't really say for sure because I don't live there, it seems to apply to the United States. 
we cannot be this monolithic culture that we once were. We must eventually go into multicultural mode or we will not survive. That is why the Trump presidency is so scary, because it has started the tidal wave of the majority culture getting revenge on the minority cultures for wanting to get revenge on the majority culture. There are no winners in this, and unless we stop this, we're in trouble. You're simply not going to get the minority cultures to stop with legal, physical, or social force. Attempts to do this will result in more revenge culture than we had before. Out of our own stubbornness and resistance to multiculturalism, we are starting to create terrorists. These terrorists could be from any culture that feels like it isn't being represented. And guess what? These types of terrorists we're going to have to appease. Yes, I just said that. We're not going to solve this by force. We're not going to solve this by doubling down on our stubbornness against the idea of multiculturalism. Socially, we're in quite a pickle, and I don't see Trump being able to unify anyone except for the majority culture. I don't know how we're going to get out of this. If you have some answers to this besides ridiculous attempts to segregate the country, let me know in the comment section. Thanks.